new auto layout grid feature, Figma Draw, Buzz, Make and Sites. Yes, just 10 seconds to tell you what Figma announced, and it's wild. If you're a designer who's ever felt limited jumping between tools, this one's going to eat deep. Let's talk about how Figma is quietly becoming the only tool you'll need to design, illustrate, publish, and even code. Figma just introduced Grid Auto Layout, and it's a game changer. Now we get real two-dimensional layout control. Think of it as a CSS grid, but inside your design tool. You can define columns and rows, adjust spacing and padding per axis, span elements, align within cells, nest grids within grids, and make everything responsive by default. It's perfect for dashboards, editorial layouts, bento style UI, no workarounds, no mess. And yes, it's free for everyone. Next, Figma Buzz, a new system for creating content fast without breaking the brand. Imagine locked templates your whole team can use, a UI made for non-designers, AI that rewrites, crops, resizes in seconds, and mass editing across 100 plus of assets. It's smart, efficient, and scalable. And I think here Figma is going to fight for a place with Canvas. Buzz gives you Canva level speed with Figma level control. Now let's explore Figma Draw. This one was a surprise for many and a lot of designers are very excited to start using it. Illustration tools finally native to your design flow. You get vector brushes that feel alive, custom brush imports, textured fills, blur and dynamic strokes, variable widths and expressive detail, and text on a path, built in, no detour to illustrator and no plugins for sketching. So here's the real question, what happens to Illustrator or Procreate if this keeps evolving? Figma is not just catching up, it's starting to stand its ground against these tools. This one was my favorite and I was expecting this announcement already last year. Figma sites. They let you go from frame to full website. You can paste your designs, use responsive blocks, add over states, scroll animations, even custom cursors. And, coming soon, there's AI that builds sections with prompts. You get inline code editing and real publishing. And seriously, why will you still using Webflow or Framer for simple projects? Figma Sites is early, but already dangerous, and it's only getting smarter. Finally, Figma Make. This is Figma's AI-powered prototyping space. You paste a static frame, write a prompt, Watch it become interactive, then you can tweak everything, visually, structurally, or with text. Still building prototypes from scratch, still coding buttons manually just to test the flow, I think with Make, designers will have more power and flexibility. Now, here's the real story. Figma isn't adding features, it's replacing your toolbox, piece by piece. Draw like Procreate or Illustrator, scale content like Canva, publish and prototype like Webflow and Framer, all in one place. The future isn't about more tools, it's about better ones done right. And if you're building systems, brands or digital experience, this is your moment. Let me know which feature could actually replace something in your current stack. And if you want to follow how I'm using all this in real creative projects, I break it down weekly in my newsletter. Link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed these new Figma updates as much as I had. Have a great day.